It's a signal as obvious as an ambulance siren. Diversion is a red flag that there's a capacity concern. You see Medical Center went on diversion for several hours yesterday, sending out a note asking squads to divert except for traumas, strokes, and burns. You see put out a note yesterday that they had to go on diversion for a while. What exactly does that mean? Well, what it really means is they're asking people who are coming to the emergency department, either by 911 or by, by personal car or their own means, to really seek another uh, alternative for care. Dr. James Horn is a St. Elizabeth emergency room doctor. He says hospitals try to keep emergency rooms open to accepting anyone at all times. So going on diversion. It's really a last resort and it's really an attempt to try and decompress the system. The problem reaches beyond UC. Every hospital in the region is at high capacity. The Health Collaborative is reporting that right now, one in nine hospitalizations are COVID and one in four ICU admissions are two. All of them are very, very full. And when a place like UC Health goes on diversion, it means that they can't accept patients. You know? Kate Schroeder is with the Health yeah. Collaborative. Um, it's unsafe in a community when you do not when your hospitals aren't able to take the patients that they need to take. There are other ways to expand capacity. TriHealth is using several approaches, including proactively scheduling fewer elective surgeries each day that require inpatient stays. As the system designed to handle emergencies is working to avoid one of their own. Yeah, so is it beds? Is it staffing? Well, we talked to doctors who say it can be both. It can be either. All of these issues are intertwined, but either way, it could be staffing one day, beds another. It does indicate that there's a high capacity issue. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, thank you.